That's not true. Like, I don't want to hear that. Man, shit. I don't want to hear that. I shit. have hopes and dreams. I have hopes. No, I have hopes and dreams. With some shit, you think, I, like, you eh, think I would judge you for your hopes and dreams eh. or something? Don't tell yes. me that. Nah, you, you think I would really judge me? I don't dreams. really care if anybody. Ah, I don't think you should. You're my best friend. And if you did, I still look at you like, oh, who gives a fuck? Like, <laughs> who gives a fuck? Oh, well, yeah. But I, I don't care. Yeah, like, they're my you hopes know, and my dreams. Like, yeah. I, Unless you hope I don't know to be why a people... rapist. <laughs> Woo. Wow, you know, that took a dramatic I'm just saying. Time. Quick. I'm quick saying, unless you hope to be that, then that's a problem. Nah, I don't want to hope to be. I don't think I don't think is much hope in wanting to be that. I think you can just be that anytime you want to be that and suffer the consequences later. You know what I'm saying? I never want to be that. How often do you want to be that? I never ever in, in life wants to be want to be that dude. It's just I never wants sorry. to be that boss. No, I'm good, son. <laughs> I'm good, but it just kills me when people have <laughs> hopes and dreams, and, and then they come up with these stupid ass posts. They post, "Oh, you didn't fuck with me when I was down. Don't fuck with me when I'm up." Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's nobody's that. supposed to. Nah, I, I, just hate them for, <laughs> yeah. I, I just hate. I hate when people post that shit. It's just it's dumb. It's like it's like it's dumb. Like, why are you worried about what everybody in the outside world is thinking about what you're trying to do and getting your life straight? I just get your life straight. There with Fuck. You wasn't there with me on the on the way there. Don't try to join the ride. I don't know. Try to come up with some old some old cliche uh, just, shit. Just be weird as fuck. It's just like, damn, how fucking car. miserable. How fucking miserable are you? Like, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You ain't climbing like, the mountain. I had, you, give me something. No, nah, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying. If you if you wasn't there with me. Clapping hands. Oh, I don't know. You wasn't there down with me making them bricks. Don't be trying to come in the building. <laughs> don't be trying to come and build my house. What? <laughs> the, worst, what? the worst motivational shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> it just be it just be dumb shit. And it's just like if it pisses me off. It's like, yo, we're all of us. We all had our trials. And I went through some shit, but I didn't like mad at the nigga. Yo, you wasn't there with me when I was suffering. Don't be, don't be around when I'm smiling and happy. He's like, who gives a fuck? Like, bro, like, I, it's, yo, that's true. Like, don't be around when I'm smiling and happy when you, when you wasn't there. I was suffering. Oh man, that's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my fucking life. <laughs> don't be there. That is, that's the dumbest <laughs> shit I ever heard in my fucking life, dude. Like half the time, you don't even know what these fucking people are going through. Like, they don't even know what you're going through in fucking life. Like. Motherfucker, yes. you talking about you 100%. don't be there. My fucking lights was off and all this shit. Bitch, my lights was off when yours was off too. Guess what? Nobody knew it but me. And I figured it the fuck out. And I'm good. The, the, the funniest the shit with that always... is... Oh, my bad. No, go ahead. Internet. What I say? The, the, the funniest shit is when it when it comes to stuff like that, it's like if they were there, then then that's that's not the people you're supposed to count on to be there when you're up. Like they wasn't there. Like you can't say that to acquaintances. Hey, acquaintances, people that I've known in passing. If you wasn't there when I was here, that you can't be there. They're not going to be there because they don't fucking know you. I don't know. Don't, don't fuck with each other. We talk about it. like, you know, what I'm saying it, it, it's a dumb statement. It, it's, it's very dumb. Like. I got people that I know, family member that will confide in me and tell me when they're going through some shit. And guess what? I'll call and check up on them and see how they're doing. And hopefully everything's getting better for them, you know? But there's only so much you can, you know, it's only so much you can do because you got everybody got their own fucking problems. I don't, I don't understand why people think there's a mother, it's only a handful of people who's going through life and shit smooth. There's billionaires and shit like that. Not even them all the time. Not even. No, yeah, but that's the one thing across across the human race. No one's having a smooth time. Oh. No one. That's what people gotta understand. So, Literally, across the human race, no one's having a smooth time. No one. It's, yeah, we all we all Crazy. handling our shit. It just you ever see is a meme where somebody's fucking sitting in the lake, like sitting down in the lake, and they sticking their head up just above water, and they acting like they're drowning. Like, yo, stand the fuck up. <laughs> Like, like, oh, pity me. You wasn't there for me when I fucking, when I was down. Like, yo, nobody told you to be getting high in high school and you, and you fucked off high school so you don't have a diploma now. You got a shitty job. Like, 
I didn't tell you to do that. You chose, you chose to fuck your high school career up, and now you're living with the job and the consequences behind that. Like, come on, that's motherfucker. You think I'm serious? Yeah. But, you think we they they we like made a victim culture out here? Like, it's oh it's more God, victims dude. out here than there is you know people that's willing to go out there and get it. Yes, is it? it Social media, made, yes, it, it's a very victim culture because everybody gets on here and they want to play victim and start typing shit on social media. Oh, this happened to me. This happened to me. Tell the whole fucking story. Like, tell the whole story. Like, motherfucker, like, like I was just saying, motherfucker talk about their lights got turned off in their crib and nobody's helping me and my lights got turned off and I can't keep my house warm to keep my baby, you know, to heat up the food for my baby. But the rest of the story is, uh, let's see here. You just got a bunch. You just got some money. You went out and bought some new sneakers, some new J's. Knowing your electrics do, you went and fucked around the club all last night, buying bottles and shit, knowing your electrics do. You went and fucked off some of your money, gave it to somebody who, who ain't never going to return the shit with your electrics do. Now the next day you want to play fucking victim. I tell the whole story. Tell the whole story. Don't tell half a story. Don't start in the middle and then start looking to be a victim. Shit kills me. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe in victim victimhood. As far as like, because there's people with real problems out there. You know, what I'm saying people who really went through some shit. Like you, a nigga with one leg. You know, you 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 can have a. It's, it's motherfuckers out here with one leg that's they refuse to complain or they refuse to. You know, what I'm saying like, they, they still out here running triathlons and shit like niggas is training to be the next iron man out this bitch bro i work with a nigga with one leg that work harder than niggas with two legs he yeah. on crutches on crutches is working with us that takes crazy. the crutches and hops out the truck and gets it mm. and i'll never hear this nigga complaining about shit just and old too he oh he's not a young man so I, that's why I said, man, like motherfuckers can probably been through some shit, probably just happy to, to be here, you know what I mean? Yeah. To be able to do what he's doing. I, I, I mean, I do I the am same way. Yeah, my grandfather he was lost, the same way, though. He was he paralyzed whole left side of his body. I believe it was the left side. And yeah. he all you couldn't tell him that not to do something. He'd go up and down the steps carrying big ass la- loads of laundry and just doing anything he can. I used to see him cut the grass. I'm like, yeah. damn. You know what I mean? My she grandfather had one arm. University. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't tell him shit. Yeah. 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 I remember your grandfather. Your grandfather was, he, you know, he lost, you know, he was, he had his cane. He couldn't, he can, you know, he got around though. He did. He made sure that house was fucking taken care of or whatever. He still did what he had to do as a man every day. Never played fucking victim. Just fucking went out and got it. My yep. wife ain't cutting the grass. My wife ain't messing with these leaves. I, I know I'm, you know, yeah, I'm on my cane, but I can still show you that I can work as a man. And I remember your grandfather doing that because I was there. Yo, I Same my grandfather. Victim. Yo, I played victim. I, I I look at some old posts. I look like a fucking sucker. What you, what you do? Let, let me in on it. Let me in on it. I definitely have. But I go ahead. Let me in on it. Oh, man. I was saying some old, just some old corny shit. Oh, give me some. I'm just here. I'm just here all about my kids. I can't worry about the outside world right now because they ain't believing in me. I'm like, what the fuck was I saying? Like, oh, my fucking. <laughs> I like, shut the. F- I want to tell my old self to shut the fuck up. No. Like shut your whole ass up. Think finding your strength. Nah, your old self will fuck you nah, up. No, no, your old self will fuck you up. Your old self will fuck you up. Why everybody can beat me? I can't even beat me. Everybody can beat me, including me. That's the funny shit with you niggas. I, I, said, I, said, some, I said some other cornball shit. I can't remember what I said. Uh, something corny, but it was. I'm just that's, that's looking just, at these shit. Oh man. What was it? I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's victim. It may be corny, but I don't think it's victim. No, I've definitely said some corny was. shit and look back later on and be like, what the fuck was I talking about? Like, yeah. I've definitely done that. Different time, and, you know what I mean? Different mind frame. Different mind frame. 
it's your mind frame at the time. I think if you if you something makes you feel that way in particular, you know what I mean? And yeah, it just yeah. sets you the, to the be whole, on the move. The holy me. And I think that's I think me. that's why I think this goes to for me when you're talking about like certain stuff that people say, like, oh, if you wasn't around when I was down, then don't think that you're gonna be around when I was up because some people just and they feelings about shit at that time. Maybe they are going through something. I mean, there's been times where I felt I I know the feeling of of that and being like, yo, nah, trust me. When whenever my time is due, you will not be associated with me. You know what I mean? And you feel like that towards particular people. Even though if it's not everybody, but I know there's particular people that you know in your life where you'll be like, nah, they could, they, once my time comes, they could never get a piece. You know what I mean? And that's just that. <clears throat> I think Regardless, you direct that energy were, at them. Yeah, but you, I mean, it's a lot. You, if you, don't know, you ain't going fucking die. If you, you ain't going to add a nigga. Yo, don't ever come around. Yo, don't ever come around yeah. when I'm up. You ain't adding a nigga. You yeah, can look you at the camera all you want. You're not adding a nigga. I ain't got to add him, but if I see that motherfucker, like, I don't fuck with you no more. I tell, I told, I done told motherfuckers to that to their face, and y'all see me tell motherfuckers to their face. I don't fuck with you no more. I don't fuck with you no more. Nah, yeah, nah. Like I'm saying, that, God, that's what I'm I'm, saying. There's, there's stuff that make you feel, there's things or people or or stuff that happened to you to make you feel that way, so you just, you know what I mean? You, it's a switch at some point. Some people flip that switch and be like, you know what? Fuck that. You know what I mean? If he wasn't around, I've been going through this. I've been going through that. I've been going through this. You call yourself my partner. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear from you. None of that shit. I hit you up. You ain't never around. All right. I mean, some people just feel that way. And then there's some relationships you got with people where it's just unbreakable. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I know we ain't been talking like that, but you know, you understand, you understand for the for the certain people that you got that type of love for. You just deal with it because you're like, man, they got their own life right now. You know what I mean? I'm doing my thing. They doing their thing. I would never lose love for that person. But then there's just some people that you just feel like has always been finicky around you, towards you, towards other people that you know. You know what I mean? And you might feel that way towards them. That doesn't necessarily mean that you don't. You just don't fuck with these group of people. And when your time comes, you'll have you'll have the. Some people just like to be like, yo, when my time comes or when I get rich or famous or whatever your goal is at that time, okay, whatever your goal man. is, not even fuck everybody, but I'm going to definitely throw it in your face. You know what I mean? Like they got particular people that they're waiting to let that happen to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you'll know. You're Trust done, me. Buddy. You know what I mean? You're done. Ooh, man, man, I mean. Cool. No, I'm just, just guy. <laughs> <That's fucking laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying. saying, people think like that. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's just whatever your mind frame towards who, whomever is treating you, however they're treating you, you're gonna use those types of of I, I like to call them memes because people wasn't really saying that shit until they read the shit. You know what mm. I mean? Like publicly, anyway. You would just keep that malice inside your heart, like, ooh, you wait, motherfucker. But now that you got memes, they just sharing shit. Uh, yeah. That shit, that shit is annoying though. And be bro. friends it's with like, the person that they with the person yeah. that, you know what I mean? They got the the malice towards so that person can see it. People fucking weird, yo. That's 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 literally what be happening. You be you look if, off side of off of that though, even if it's just people beefing, niggas will know. Like even because I think it's a lot of stuff like that be one sided. It be just one person and their feelings Man. and their thoughts that decides to post it, and it could be me. I'm I'm not that kind of person. Like I don't post shit like that and be like, "Oh, this person ain't do this for me." You're not supposed to do shit for me. I don't want you to do that for me. Like like you get what I'm saying? Like meaning yeah. that's where it comes from. It's like nah, but a lot of people will feel that way in the moment. And oh man, don't don't try to come over here when shit get better. It's like you gonna let them over the anyway. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> but that's what kills me. Only people that's obligated to do anything is your parents, and even that's up to a certain point. Not not even is my point. Not even that's up to a certain point. Get, mm -hmm. Like what the fuck? Like I don't understand, motherfuckers. Like yo, 
I can't hold your fucking hand every time you fucking going through something. Or I'm supposed to know every time you're going through something. If you're going through something and we got numbers and I call you on a consistent basis, yeah, man, and I hear it in your voice, yo, talk to me. What's going on? Or I can see in your face. Yo, what's going on? And I ask you. And then you tell and you confide in me, like, all right, well, listen, I ain't doing such and such later on. Come over and chill. Get away from the bullshit. Just, just come sit. I, I, you know what I mean? I had some plans tonight, but I'm going to cancel them shit. Just come chill with me. That way you ain't worried about the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's his most. That's the most I can do for you. I can't be like, yo, tell me your problems, like, man. I need ten. I need thousand dollars, man. They about to kick me out my house every day. I need five hundred dollars. <laughs> After a while, I start looking at motherfuckers like, yo, what the fuck are you doing with your money, like nigga? I know you work. Like hmm. I, 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 I don't know, man. People just people annoy the fuck out of me with that shit. I just hate them fucking needy, fucking whiny, fucking attention seeking whores like always the world's against them always got some I, I don't like dealing with people like that you bring my energy down you just so fucking negative everything is negative there's nothing going to your like positive it's always woe is me and uh, uh, get the fuck away from me the woe is uh, me that's, that's, that's oh my gosh the woe is me <clears throat> yeah, please, do you ever please, do you, do you ever talk to a motherfucker and you be like, yo, man, you just fucked my no. whole day up by coming <laughs> over here and saying two words to me. You never had somebody to sit next to you. I mean, there's, as there's soon as they two, start talking, you be like, oh, you fuck. Why there's two different that? lanes. There's two different lanes that. when it comes to like that for me when it comes to certain people. There's people who got the, the yo, Yo, I, I'm going through all this bullshit, da, da, da. and then they're like, "Yo, I've been trying this, I've been trying that." They've really been hustling to get to a point or trying to find every avenue, and it's just not working out for them. You know what I mean? Conversations with those groups of people that I know I that. aren't, yeah. You know what I mean? I can see, you know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here for you. You know what I mean? Let's figure it out because. That's fucked up. But if there's a person, then people that don't got the hustle or the drive, it don't even seem like they're attempting to change the scenario that they're in. And all they do is just talk about the bullshit that they're going through without no attempt of, you know, making things different. Bro, I yes. don't give a fuck, bro. What are you doing? Like, yeah. And then it don't, you're not looking for advice. You're not looking for a different route. You just Why are you telling mind? me this? Yeah, you're just talking at this point. You know what I mean? Like because bitching about miserable. shit. Well, it's 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 also you touched on something earlier. You touched on energy, and I think that's something that we've all been more cognizant about as we gotten older. You didn't mm -hmm. know why things were like that earlier in your life, but now it's like, yo, protecting your energy is so important because you have to give you have to have energy for yourself, you have to give your energy to your loved ones. Y'all got kids, you got you know, you got your wife, your girl. You got your parent, like you get you have people that you want to give your energy to when somebody else comes and siphons that energy off, or you know, because you know, when you're just like we was talking earlier, um, when you're around a certain type of person or a certain type of people, that energy can affect your energy. So if their vibration is mm -hmm. down here, they can bring your vibration down here. And you like, why the fuck am I mad? I'm ready to fucking cuss niggas out, and I had a great day. Then this nigga came over and started talking, and now I'm fucking. I want to. I want to hurt somebody now. That's not an accident, I'm bro. You gotta protect that shit. I'm gonna give a shout out. I'm gonna give a shout out to a nigga who got good energy, cousin Randy. Even though he ain't on social media, everybody know cousin Randy. Every yeah. time you see this nigga, is always smiles, is laugh. He introduces himself every time. It's always a joke. It's like it's cool to be around this motherfucker. Energy just goes out. You know you're gonna have a good time when this dude sits down next to you. You know it's about be funny you know he's about to boost you up and then it, like you said there's some people that like you said just drain it out of you i, I had a motherfucker mm -hmm. sitting next to me today just drained it out of me see i gotta get the fuck away from this motherfucker like you just came mm -hmm. over and like try to fuck my whole day up and i don't even i don't even want to hear this bullshit right now it's like i'm not even on this type of time i came with some positive shit and i was, i don't i want to stay on that positive note that's what that's how i look at not life right now even when I'm having a bad time or hard time in life, like 
my girl was like, yeah, you just locked yourself in your room. It was like, because I'm I'm not feeling good today. Just let me sit in here. Let me <clears throat> brood a little bit. Let me get rid of this shit. And I don't need to bring that to y'all. Like, why do I need to bring that to y'all? Y'all look like y'all smiling, y'all happy. Why do I got to bring that shit to y'all? But like you said, there's people who just love to sapping people good energy and just they want the whole world to be miserable like them. Mm. They see you doing good. Your, your car looks good. Your kids is happy. You're winning in life. And then they just out of out of the blues make some bullshit ass beef up with you or or, or hate on Can you I take- on the low or... Can I take the opposite approach to that? I, I don't yeah. think they're cognizant of it. Yeah. I don't think people who are in that position are cognizant of it. I think that if you're a complainer or if you're like one of those people who's attracted to drama, because I we know people like that, I think that that's just your habits. So if if that's your conversation and and that's what you do, like if a person, like I'm, you know, I don't, when when I when I see a person who when they call somebody and it's usually the people who like to call people, it's always some the, the pre, people who like to stay on the fucking phone. Those types of people mm-hmm. who like to call and talk about their drama all the time. Somebody always did something to them. Somebody always did them wrong. I don't think they're doing that because they are jealous of anybody. I just think that's the way they. That's just what their habits. You know what I'm saying? Do so. When they see you and you're doing well, it might activate something internally in them where they're not trying to necessarily come in and say, I mean, let me make something the fuck. I just think that they can't compare to anything good in their life. So all they do is do more of what they've been doing, which is be fucking miserable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man. What do y'all think? People got yeah, they, you're right. And, and people like that. I mean, t- let me give y'all a fucking warning right now. I'm 40 years old. I got 25 more years, I'll be 65. No. Damn. Yeah, listen, that's the age, that's the age where the where you are old and you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want to say. You come around <laughs> me with that negative shit. I'm gonna straight up take that fucking negative bullshit, go somewhere, nobody hear about your fucking problems. I don't give a fuck. Too old for this shit. I got a little where bit of rules time. Okay. Who gave you that rule that you can say whatever you want? You at over 60, you at 65, you allowed to say whatever the I'm fuck curious. you want. You just who, who, you know. not, I'm old. One of your grandsons, where you get the rule <laughs> real good, right in the face. As soon as you start the grandpa speaking, you can say whatever you want. Listen, it only takes three pounds of pressure to pull the trigger, nigga. If I still got three pounds of pressure I can pull. You better not punch me in my face. I don't care about you going to jail. Kev, you, Kev, you 65 years old shooting your grandkids is a crazy scenario. <laughs> don't you care. You shouldn't punch me in my face. Thing. Watch out you ain't punch me in my face. <laughs> my grandpa did care. say the same exact thing. He said, I ain't fighting you. I'm going to shoot you. Like, shoot damn, you. Grandpa. What the fuck? I'm 65. All I got to do is stop taking my medication. I'll be good. I, I won't last three weeks in jail. Stop taking my medication. Take me yeah. back out in the box. This nigga, I don't yeah, care. This nigga here, bro. <laughs> You're the only nigga I know that will plan out. Go from go from when I turn 65. Now you planning the death. Like you planning your transition. Hell, if <laughs> I shoot you, I know I'm going to jail. So my like, man, don't I don't want my medicine. I motherfucking my medicine. I slap this. Kev gonna be in there going crazy. <laughs> Give a fuck, man. You just I did, did, did I'm did just saying because you you right now when people come around with that negative bullshit and you see him coming. You try to be somewhat nice to him. You try to hit him with the yeah. I hit him with the oh, okay. I hit him with the oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. If I hit you with two oh, okays and two wow, that's crazy. That means shut the fuck up. I don't really want to hear nothing that you got to say. <laughs> oh, oh, two oh, okays and two wow, that's crazy. Within the same sentence, nothing else in between that shit. That means shut the fuck up. Don't say nothing else to me. Okay. Okay, wow, that's crazy. Wow, what should wow, those crazy. people do? Like what the those those energy those energy um succubuses, what should they do to not be that? Like how should they, well, give give them stuff that they should do? I'm I'm curious. Um, yo, um first off, I don't know because they change your habits, change your just turn social media off. Just cut everything off in life and just sit back in the mirror. Reevaluate, reevaluate yourself. You That's got all advice. these issues and all these problems. 
see how many of them problems come back to. I mean, really reevaluate them shits and see how all many of them them. problems come back to the word called me. Like I all of them. The word called me. Okay. The word called me. <laughs> Hear this nigga. So all of them do though. If if all of them come back to I, you're the fucking problem. So start fixing your problem. And if you don't want to fix that problem and you like the shit that you're doing, stay the fuck away from people who are smiling all the time. Go over to where that black cloud is hanging over that group of people and go sit over there. And y'all can sit there and talk shit about people, talk shit about... Because they this what they do. Motherfuckers that got negative energy go to where there's other people with negative energy and they talk about... They get in a the group, they huddle up, and they talk about everybody that's around them. And then lead that mm-hmm. group and then talk about the people they just left the group with. Talk about them like dogs. It's like, yo. You, you ever have a person come to you and try to talk shit about somebody else and you ain't having it? You ever you ever see yeah. the attitude you get that they yeah. that you get oh, from I them told, after that? Yeah, it's just crazy. <laughs> oh, I told motherfuckers straight up, like, yo, bro, I don't want I don't want to talk about that. I won't talk about him. God. I had motherfuckers talk, try to talk shit to me about my brother. My brother Kyle, I love dearly. I told him, oh man, I, yo, we ain't doing that. Can't see you. Well, I mean, no, nah, we ain't doing that. Tell, tell him that you tell him that yourself and see how see what happened. I don't mm. want to hear that. Tell him that. That's crazy. Don't well, come up to me and talk to me I about just, my brother. Don't. They all they, they, they try. That's crazy. They try they to talk to me about my brother. <laughs> they want. Mm. They want that to be known. <laughs> they want and they be like, mm. yeah. That's when I hit it with the. Mm. Mm. They try to test. Wow, that's crazy. They try, they try to test your loyalty at that point. No, because I'm not going to say you'll be negative about, about my brother. Then you'll be. That's what I'm saying. They try to test your loyalty at that point, like. That's how I feel. Like, yo, you could talk about my brother to me to my face. You must think that me and my brother relationship isn't like that. And it is. You know what I'm saying? Tell me what you said. I'm going to tell him what you said. I don't want to hear it. I'm calling my brother right then and there. I don't want to hear it. Such and such is there. And apparently, (laughs) apparently, this is how they feel. Would you like to talk to them? (laughs) He right here. I mean, he right here. Man, I'm so happy for my brothers. I love bragging about my brothers. I love talking about all the good and positive shit that goes on with my brothers. I don't give a fuck about anything negative somebody got to say about my brothers. I don't want it. It's like, oh, okay, wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck away from them. And I go I back and know they, like, I want to know if they're in trouble. But other than that, I don't want to hear you talking bad on them. You know, what Not I mean? to me, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I want to know if there's some. I want to if there's things that I need to know. I want to know, but if you just out here, just talking shit, yeah, you shouldn't do that around me. You ever you ever find yourselves in a mood where you're like, yo, I'm affecting, uh, yo, my energy is affecting other people's energy, or you're like, yeah, let me let me chill. I'm I'm really I'm drawn. Let me I'll cut a conversation short. Like if I find myself just. Even talking about myself a lot, I, I try not to do that. And sometimes I'm bad with it, but if I'm talking about myself a lot, I'm I'll, like I know I'm doing something wrong. Like if I say I too much on the phone, which I don't like talking on the phone anyway, but I'm like, yo, let me let me shut the fuck up and ask. You know what I mean? I don't like doing that. So y'all ever find yourself in that situation? Yeah, I find myself when I'm my mood changes from like highs to low dramatically. You know what I mean? So I kind of I'll 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 segregate myself from people because I know how I'll be. You know what I mean? Like I, I just, I can, I can tell when my energy is off, and more than mm. likely, it's 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 definitely always off at work. You know what I'm saying? But but when it's I'm just like job. in my, it's not that I hate my job. It's just it's always some bullshit going on. You know what I mean? It changes my mood i could be good all day as soon as i start driving to work i'm like man that's, i know i'm going to walk into some bullshit. you know what i mean i just know it and show sure enough but um when my energy is off i just you know what i mean i i i know how i can be you know i'm not i don't pay attention i could care less type feeling you know what i mean and if like for instance if my wife is talking to me about something and it's something important to her or something, you know, she's just interested in. And I'm in one of my moods. 
I'm not really going to give a fuck. So you're not really going to get too much conversation out of me about that. Cause I just like Kev said, Oh yeah. Oh, Oh, that's what's up. Oh, that's crazy. But well, you know what I mean? You'll get shit like that. She know she can tell and she'll just be like, ah, I'll talk to you a little later. <laughs> you know what I mean? She, I mean, we've been together long enough that she could tell how I am. Same word. But, but I try to segregate myself from situations until I can get that feeling up off of me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go take a nap or something. Try to wake up on a different side and, and fucking, you know, uh, mm. make sure I'm not a piece of shit. Cause that's what I feel like I turned into when I be fucking with people's vibes. Cause I don't like my vibe being fucked with when I'm on a good one. So a nap helps, like a nap or like just kind of getting I'm, away I'm for a little old bit. Old as shit. I'm old as shit right now. I no, I'm asking. This, I could tell you this wholeheartedly. A nap helps everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything, bro. Everything. <laughs> everything. What if I'm hungry and I go to sleep when I wake up? I'm not as aggravated as I once was when I was hungry. I'm like, oh, all right. Well, what, what are we gonna eat? Let's see what's down there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know I mean, let's go to the store. Let's, you know what I mean? But or if or if she's getting on my wife's getting on my nerves, I take a nap. I wake up. You go to sleep on her. Yeah, go to sleep right on that. Yeah. You know, I'll be like, I right, walk right out there. the room. I'm like, nah, yo, like, I'm gonna go you know take a nap, or have a smoke, and like, go to wait. sleep. I was thinking about this. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. The power of sleep, like the true power of sleep. I don't think us as people know the true power of sleep. Let me tell you something, yo. I had the flu over this past week. And you ever notice, like, you'll be shitty all day. Like, if you're sick, you'll be shitty all day. You'll go to sleep. Your body will start to heal itself. And even if it heals itself a little bit, like, sleep is the process it needs to do that. You ever, you ever think about the power of sleep? Like, the next day, you're used, like, dog, when I was, um, I'm still, I'm still um, intermittent fasting. So I, I eat at, 12 start eating at 12 p.m. I stop eating at around 8 to 8 30. But even if I'm starving when I go to sleep, which I'm never really, but if I'm starving, you wake up, you ain't starving no more. You ever really think about the true power of sleep and what it could solve? That's just crazy when you think about it, yo. Sleep is crazy. Because sleep, yeah, because sleep, you think about how much energy you're using while you're awake, right? When you go to sleep, you, your heart rate slows down, your breathing slows down a little bit more. Yeah, uh, your, your your activity in your brain that fucking that start. That's why people can't go to sleep when they got too much when they're thinking about too much. They, it, it keeps okay. them up. Your activity in your brain goes down. Everything goes right. down. So yeah, so your body has your body has this extra energy to put to somewhere else where it needs to where something else needs to be healed or fixed or repaired or or it, you know because when you're sick you know your body warms up to the you know to burn the uh burn the virus yeah. out of your body so yeah. your body can focus on hey let me fucking go crank this heat up he sleep let me crank this heat up let's sweat this shit out hopefully he feels better i'm not wasting all this extra energy of him moving around and trying to keep this function and that function i'm not worrying because your body would it do it to protect the brain it'll shut everything else down to protect the brain you you know what I'm saying? That's why motherfuckers going to them fucking comas and shit and got the machines breathing from. They are going to protect the brain. So if they they see everything else is calmed down, they, you know they got that energy to put somewhere else, and you you can heal up. Because listen, after a good nap, you feel good. Like even if you hurt yourself, you hurt your ankle or something like that, you're like, oh man, nah, nap don't fix that just, for me. They do. Break, if you just lay your ankle, ass, so if you <laughs> not break your ankle, but like you you fucking you're wild, you're not you're not nah. Oh, I listen. I, I got in my car accident. I slept for days, bro. When I started, yeah, I slept for days. I would just sleep for days on end, and I started feeling a lot better than when I'm moving around and I'm active. Yeah, man, got this listen, I had to ask. Think about it. I had a car, I had a car, I had a car accident. Right of a prescription. I had a major sleep. car accident. I was back to work. I was back to work in like four days, man. I was back to work in like four days. 
Doctor, my leg is swollen. Uh, All right, hold on. I got you. Did you did you sleep before you get here? <laughs> nah, hold on. Go home. Go to sleep first. Then I give mean, me a call. I mean, Tell me how you feel. I got the perfect thing. For you. <laughs> got the perfect thing. <laughs> no, you didn't go right sleep. You go right three Z's on a piece of paper. <laughs> and done? Call me in the morning. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's done. You know it's done. I'm just I saying. feel like Wolverine. I love bro. I feel like well, I feel like Wolverine <laughs> healing the bellies when I go to sleep, my nigga. Like if I twist my ankle or some shit like that, or bang my yo. I feel better if I lay down. I was like, yo, just let me lay my ass down somewhere, let my body relax, and just let me just let it do what it's supposed to do. Get up off my feet and shit like that, man. Just, that's, that's why motherfuckers impressive. who don't get enough sleep, they, their their health is bad, and yeah, you yeah, ever. You know what I'm saying? Their health yep. is bad. Their mental state is bad. A lot of shit is off with a motherfucker who don't get a lot of sleep. You can you know have strokes and shit from lack of sleep. That was yeah. the whole thing going around. I think when you're a man or a woman and you get into your late 30s, uh, early 40s, I think you should start paying more attention to your daily habits and your health habits anyway because... Uh, to me, to me, and I'm not, I'm not getting this from any statistics. I'm just thinking like I feel like you make all the bad habits that you have, like in your 30s. I'm not gonna say 20s, but in your 30s, catch up with you in your 40s, and sickness sets oh. in, like in your late 40s. So, like, if you pay attention now, you can kind of like, you know, what I'm saying, mitigate a lot of those things because once it, a lot of times, once it sets in on you, hey man, you can start from there, but it's a little less than likely that you're going to be able to stop whatever's going on, bro. Yeah. You can change it. You can change it then, that. but you might not make you not might not make it out of it. Nah, man, you gotta gotta check your fluids and everything. We like a car, man. You check your fluids all the time, and you change your oil on time. You know, get the little checkups. Car won't work forever. Good. Once you start changing parts, and shit start breaking. So you ain't got much left on that motherfucking uh, transmission and engine before one of them things goes, and that motherfucking no. car is checking out of here. You got some. You that. Change some parts. That's how I look at it. Analogy, <laughs> you man. Just figured, <laughs> you you definitely you're like you have the the demeanor and the like the mind of like I feel like they gave you a brain transplant with like an old <laughs> mechanic from like South Carolina like that's where you get all your ideologies from is like a mechanic from South Carolina well, name I like, be from South name Carolina. like Lino or some shit that's just what you give me. Lino. Nigga, where do you find that old it? ass name Lionel from? Because that's some old ass what? shit you just said. One, you oh got changed the blues. Because once you, you, you were <laughs> like Lionel sounds old, like he comes home and tells said. his woman about his whole day at work and all the parts she changed out. And she just said, mm -hmm, "Baby, why she just in the kitchen cooking?" Lionel just Thank seems you. old. That just, Lionel just seems like he still watches the Jeffersons. It, like he just he, nigga, this is I, you, bro. I'm not Listen lying, dog. <laughs> Let me see your hands. I have a. Like, oh, <laughs> let me see. Put your hands into the camera. That'll show me if you lying. My hands ain't like that. My hands is. My hands is all right. Look, I work on shit. I like working on shit. All my shit got calluses. All just, my shit's supposed to have calluses. Just, nah, ain't, ain't as bad as my brother. Bring it all down to the house, Cheryl. We're just bring it all down to the house, Cheryl. I'm saying, I was just best. God's best my brother Sammy. Sammy got these old rough Jamaican hands. Like just, his hand like he could slap life from a mule. Like his, his hand like he <laughs> like he can like he can rub the fur off a coconut. His hands is rough. Like Sammy, why is your hands? Your hands is that tough. Sammy, <laughs> Sammy, you pull him. You like I mess with that nigga outside. Like, look, rub the hair off a coconut. That's cool. Nah, man. Sammy, you better not be I, like Sammy. Nah, I'm saying that Sammy didn't <laughs> couldn't find his fucking lug nut thing to remove his lug nuts off his tie. Like he could, he could just get enough grip on them shits to break a lug nut. Just twist it off with his hand. Say, why your hands so rough? <laughs> I'm, I don't know what he's what do you do? He's a construction worker, man. He, uh, he in the union, man. Like, my brother, you, you, man. I love, I love that guy, man. He's crazy, but I love him to death. Yeah, yeah, but I was blessed. I said, man, because he's half Trinidadian. So I'm like, man, you got some old, rough Caribbean right. nigga hands. Nah, they do. You ever shake a Caribbean nigga hands? Their hands is rough, man. Them niggas' yes. hands is rough. And, and you are absolutely correct. They're built, they come like that. It's the weirdest shit in the world. The weirdest God, shit in the world. Man. Like nigga, you look 
Like you just been dragging boats out the ocean your whole life barehanded, man. All right, yo. All right. All right. Move on, that bitch all the way up. <laughs> Move on, Lionel. I'm serious, like. <laughs> God like, damn, man. Nah, you, you like I'm just saying, you know, they're like, damn, you got pirate hands, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> so, <laughs> so these people who dragged it, nah, I don't even think we talk about the energy shit no more. We talk about we can we can move on to another <laughs> subject. I don't know what, but I don't know. I don't got hands nah, like I'm that. Just saying, I take, my, hands, I take nah. my, my skin into consideration. Weightlifting gives you fucking you ever uh, shake gives you calluses though. Yeah, That's but you ever guy. shake niggas like them Caribbean dudes and country white out. dudes, they got the rough. Oh, you ever suck, shake a country white dude hand? Like, damn, why your no. hands that tough? Why are you man? shaking so many people's hands because you work with these people. So, you I, like, I work in the construction business, so you you always go have that's true. Caribbean dudes around, you're going, you gonna always have some old country white dude around. Like, this nigga don't <laughs> never look like he wear gloves for anything he do. Like, how your hands permanently stained with grease and oil? Like, I, I seen you wash your hands the other day. Finger like, how do you butt. cook with them hands? Uh, oh, man. Can you imagine that? He fingered and changed his bitch. Like, he goes to the doctor. like, man, you done, yo. man we found done. traces of fucking never synthet done. synthetic oil in your vagina. Like, what the fuck? Oh. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. I'm yeah. Done. Yeah. I just went on the rant. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have I yeah. do that shit. That's why I want to Kevin the rant. I go on wild rants and I got they bring me back in. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yo, I'm just saying. On another on a on a totally different note, y'all still uh y'all still beating the pussy up. Not smooth, what? love it. Y'all still yeah. beating pussies up sometimes. Fucking loser. Some losers. I'm still, I'm still hitting it good, Dre. You, you know, it's not as no, 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 no. often. I said, I said, you still beating it up. I don't mean, no. are you still fucking? I mean, are you still sometimes like it? Yeah, Dre. You think you think she like more, that more? More when I'm drinking. More than more when we're drinking. Dre, you think she I like think that? any woman likes. Yes, yeah, I drinking, think women yes. want that. I don't think so. Moon, yeah. Okay. I don't think they like that all the time. I think it's. I think it, I didn't say all the time. I said sometimes. I think it's a mood thing. Sometimes, man. It's a vibe thing, right. and more than likely, it's Everyone. when we're drunk. How yeah. you? <laughs> how you know when she don't like it? <laughs> when she's she like, says, don't stop. stop. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> get off me. We should like, get yeah. off me. <laughs> or take it so, easy. Like, yeah. Yo, her hey, telling you to take it easy. I've never heard a woman tell me to take it easy, which means I've been doing it wrong my whole life. This nigga <laughs> said, she said, take it easy. Take it easy, oh. buddy. Like, you think she, she be telling you that? What you do when she tell you to take it easy? You take it easy? No. Ken literally just reminisced for a quick 30 seconds. And definitely did. Nah, I don't. I've never taken it easy. I've never <laughs> taken it easy. Just got... like, Whoa, take it easy, Ken. <laughs> Shut up. No. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shut up. You know what you signed up for. <laughs> it's my nah, time. I, I asked that jokingly. <laughs> it's my time. I asked that jokingly. Sometimes you be trying to. You be trying to. How long can you beat it up for? That's a good question. I got, a, I got a couple minutes. I got a couple minutes. Yeah, in maybe like, hey, man, I'm good to run out of breath. Hey, listen, I'm good to run out of couple minutes. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't be done. I just be tired. Yeah. So I'm going hard. Yeah, I'm like, like five, six minutes. Out of breath. It's like then a you workout. Just, you're just doing this. <laughs> it's just like a workout. Oh, you see it the ball? Uh, That's why I know I got to did the little video of making his woman do the shit that men do when they be having sex and shit. He's like, yeah, try this, yep. do this. 30 seconds, I'm tired. Yeah, I know. But you gotta uh -huh. keep going, right? Because you like that. <laughs> he's, absolutely, he's absolutely correct. Yeah. He's correct. I caught, myself, ever grunt, told... I caught myself grunting too hard. I'm like, God damn, I'm out of shape. I shouldn't be grunting this hard doing these, these basic moves right here that I'm trying to beat it up with. Yeah, what you hear caveman in her ear over hey, her neck. Fucking right. <laughs> That's how I knew I, like, I gotta get back in shape. Like I'm grinding. Like he's starting a boat. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sound like a chainsaw that ain't starting up too good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, has she ever did as 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 your woman ever did anything that made you say, yo, take it easy? Have you ever told them <laughs> to take it easy? No. Yeah. No. Man. Take it You've easy. Never told them to take it easy. Like, yo, you going, you doing a little too much. Can you take it easy? I think I had chicks sucking my balls a long time ago. I said, yo, 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 so up, so up. Not, not, weird, sexually, but... not sexually, I haven't. I might Fuck else was like, take it easy, yo. Chill, take it easy, yo. Like she wilding out or something. Too much. All right. <laughs> too much coke. <laughs> take, take, it, take it easy, sweetheart. Right. Right. <laughs> Did you just do a line of coke and think we we're gonna have a conversation? Like, just slow down. <laughs> we came to party, but this ain't the party I did it. No. I, nah, it's like, a, yo, when was the last time? When was the last time anybody took like a gas station pill on their girl? Like, let me see. I'm scared to take one now because I'm like, man, no, I, I, I don't want to have no heart it. attack or nothing because I know I'm out of shape. I'm like, I'm you nervous. shouldn't now. No, and I have I don't. Now. I don't want to take the chance that she Ever. can't compete with the gas station pill because then what happens afterwards? You like when you're ready for the for the long for the long run, and she's only she's only capable of doing the short oh, one. Then twice. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, oh. What if she don't? No, that's what I'm saying. What if she don't? Go twice. It's the gas station pill, right? I would assume that after the first one, you still got some gas left in the tank. Man, that, that, that should stop you from day. coming. That's what I'm it saying. Stops from, it stops you from I'm coming, saying. so you just can just keep going and keep hammering. You just gotta, yeah, yeah. But what you if guy has some if, good energy? You ain't never, you ain't never be fucking your girl, and she just tired. She's just like, all right, I'm done. Like you've gone for so long, yeah. and she's like, nah. Then what stop. happens at that point when you got the gas I'll station filled in? You can Oh, you true. Flip, you listen, you face down ass. So I don't care you what you talk about you right now. You ain't. You Oh, you can't come. You just said it. So, what are you going to do? You what do can't you come. Do? What do you do? Yeah, you going? You going hammer until I get till I'm, till I'm, done, till that, I'm tired. Through that situation, you going to diddy your way through that situation. Kev Diddy Combs, I, I, allegedly. Allegedly, I'm not Diddy Combs. I just, I'm like, look, man. I don't come. Maybe let it settle. My dick wake back up. And I'm still hitting. Still a little wet spot there. Like, yeah, let me oh, throw this thing back up. Oh, goes to sleep on a gas station pill. I've, this, what do you I've, want to guess? Not on a gas nap. station. You take that nap, don't you? <laughs> take nap, a nap, nap later. You lose everything. I, no, no, no. You, listen, listen. You can go to sleep with you know with your equipment still where it's at. You can definitely go to sleep, and I think you'll be fine. Because that, that's yeah. Because that's to to me that's what I would do in that situation. Like. Cause after a while, it's not it's not even fun for you anymore. If especially if she don't want to, and you just yo, I'm definitely not going to. You know when you're not going to come, you're like, bro, I'm nowhere near it. All right, yo, go get a glass That's of milk. Easy. Go do go do something, and then try to go to sleep. Get a glass. I'm just saying, I ain't going. I ain't busting warm. that, no, that no, night. Y'all remedies yo. is crazy. <laughs> no, no, white, no, white people crazy. White people will drink warm milk. Who put milk in the microwave? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, ain't that how you make fucking what is that shit called? Curling milk, man. Fuck your stomach up. Ain't nobody drinking no warm milk. Milk. I don't drink milk at all. But no, ever. white people drink warm milk to go you to bed. Drink hot chocolate. So no, white people drink- just yell upstairs. White kid. people drink <laughs> warm milk. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna ask my wife. I'm gonna ask my wife. I'm like, yo, you be drinking warm milk? Drink warm milk. Yeah, that's just. I've slaps. never seen it. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Can't go even realize he got a glass of warm milk before he probably was true. Up, she gave him a glass of warm milk. He went to sleep and went Ain't right no going to sleep. sleep on. Ain't no going to sleep on shrooms until that. Get yourself. So Ain't Get no going to sleep. That shit. There ain't that no is help. Crazy. I, I never like I always I mean, used to hear that shit on cartoons and movies. Get yourself a warm glass of milk. And I say to myself, who's drinking warm milk? Like you ain't supposed to leave milk out the refrigerator Google that long Google to let it get see warm. The, see the effects of drinking oh, warm man. milk. Yeah, <laughs> it's spontaneous, so, it's spontaneous <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> Explosive. Yeah, you your motherfucking pants loose. <laughs> A glass of a glass of warm milk. Yeah. That's what that's what white people say. And I, I, I need to look sleep. this up. Yeah. 
I need to look this up. No, man. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I, was kid, oh, man. I be seeing, I used to see a show on TV when we were kids. Then again, you used to see milk commercials Ooh, when it's... we were kids. You don't see that shit no more. Yeah. Because it was a lie. You know what I'm saying? Because body good. Meanwhile, everybody in the world I'll is be... like tolerant. Yeah. But wouldn't you be nervous if you see her heel, heating milk up in, in the fucking pot yes, and then throw it in the class? You'd be like, man, I know it's some bacteria that just happened. Something just happened with that milk because that milk's supposed to stay cold. I'm not, man, I ain't risking my stomach with no, that shit. No, milk is that supposed to stay in a cow. I don't want that too. I'm, I'm, I don't drink, uh, I don't, for years, I don't drink that type of milk. I don't drink cow milk because it's disgusting. Oh, here you go. You nigga drink almond milk. You nigga drink almond milk, but fucking almonds don't even make milk. Almond milk is good. Well, there's a way you they call it almond milk, but it's you know it's it's almonds and water. Yeah. So uh, scientific evidence suggests that warm milk before bed may help you sleep. In a study of people saying in a hospital's heart unit, those who drink warm milk and honey for three days notice improvements in sleep. That's because they shitted themselves so much <laughs> that they were so tired that they had to go to sleep. No one's drinking warm milk in a fucking. They only serve milk in a hospital, nigga. What the fuck you go get? You go drink the pouch of milk? Fuck out of here, nigga. Oh, the beverage milk. contains small amounts of the chemical tryptophan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Trip, and trip, while tryptophan, tryptophan, like, like from Turkey, trip yeah, like from Turkey. And while it's not enough to make you fall asleep, it can help you wind down after a long day. So when you get done doing your coke, Kev, you can have a nice glass of warm milk. (laughs) I don't do cocaine. I mean, I'm just saying, man, your stomach, you, 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 your stomach be so fucked up. You just be holding your stomach. You just pass out because you're in pain. That's why you go to sleep. Stomach be bubbling like Dre said. You just be in fucking pain. It's like something lay here. You hear his butt trumpets ah, all night. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hate turkey too? I hate turkey. No, I love turkey. Uh, no, you only yeah, weirdo that fucking hate turkey. What happened with you and turkey? Like, doesn't like turkey. I like Shit. I like other turkey products. I don't like Thanksgiving turkey. Why? It's too dry why? for you. What happened? I mean, it's trash. But why? What's trash about it? Like turkey, I, mean, I had, had this weekend, dog. That shit was, that mm. shit was good. Like I had the peppers, yeah. the peppers and yeah. the onions, the good different turkey juices. Turkey. With, you can squeeze, motherfucker. See the juice come out. The turkey it was tender. It was flavorful, man. It was just like, like it's like just cooking it. Up and in, I had a deep fried turkey. Yeah, mm. a big ass deep fried in the backyard. And you the know fr- that's and the fried thing, man. The fried turkey was juicy too. Yeah, salute to all the motherfuckers that burnt their house down with deep fried turkeys so y'all can finally perfect the skills of how to properly deep fry turkey. Took a lot of motherfuckers to lose their fences and burn their trees down, their house down, their garage down. Because you remember when they first started deep frying turkey, niggas was blowing their cribs the fuck up with them deep frying. Niggas drop I a whole turkey why. grease when everything and just blow their fucking whole crib up. Because grease shoots everywhere. Grease fires is hard yeah. to put out. So it was a lot of trial yeah. and error. You watch videos and how these motherfuckers how not to do it. Why wow, motherfuckers like like burnt their crib down in order to perfect this skill that is now useful in Thanksgiving? As it, it makes the most oh the turkey the, the skin be crisp, too much oil. And it's juicy on the inside. Yeah, too much oil. That's what I'm saying, and 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 it don't seem like it. It don't seem like it until you put that big ass fucking vulture in there, and that shit starts coming up. But I've also seen another uh, machine. That is like perfect. It gives you the line to fill it up to. The shit closes on top of it, yeah. and you literally yeah. just take the basket, lower it in slow. It covers the turkey. It's perfect. So I think people should just buy that shit. Like or not too, because well, I, 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 I deep fry my turkey. I deep fry me some ham. What? I said fry me some ham. Put he a said ham what? Too much bacon. I'm good. <laughs> bacon. But no, yeah, like not, I did my turkey. Like, I did my turkey. I found my turkey this weekend. I turned to just be saying anything, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wait, like, wait, that wait. nigga. Let the audience know what you said before we started. Uh what you said before we started recording. Let the audience know. About what? About Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Let the audience know what you said that right, Teddy Pendergrass said. said. <laughs> why I didn't I didn't Teddy Pendergrass said, wait. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I didn't say Teddy Pendergrass when he got caught getting that. sucked off by a transgender woman. I, I said he got tired of pussy. He said he might try some different. No, you <laughs> said I have no, no, so much pussy. No, no. Said, you know what? Let me try something different. Here's what we going. Here's what we going to say. You said that he said yep. out of his own mouth. Yep. I got tired of. I got bored of fucking women, so I started fucking men. That's what you said. That he said, and I said, and me and Ken was like, "Oh yeah, it's good. wait a minute." Did he say that? Or did you think that? I said, you said, I just said he was trying to ease in. He's like, he, he started off in the middle. He's like, you know what? I ain't gonna just stop fucking with And then wait to look for the middle. quote. <laughs> I had to. I had to. The craziest in the world. I said, yo, are you sure he's, he straight up said that? Kev said, yeah, he definitely said it. And then started looking for the quote like he ain't make that I shit say, up. Spot. <laughs> he it up on the spot. This ain't man, like Ch- uh, Teddy do. That's why Tay. That's why Tay you turned him up. Tell him turn off the lights, old nigga. He was he, he looking what he do. He turn off the lights. Yo, you the nigga that'll steal something out of somebody's house and then help him look for it. <laughs> that's the kind, kind of nigga. You are. <laughs> oh, I've never done no shit like that, man. I never done. No, I ain't a thief. So I never done no shit like that. I never did no shit like that. Ooh. Oh shit! I'm, I just I'm thought just that saying, was. I don't know. He, he he got you know he got he got fucked up behind that shit. He got caught like he got in an accident. Fucked his legs up. Yeah, no, that was yeah, terrible. Yo, he's still alive, right? Teddy Pendergrass. Uh, Where's he dead? Oh, they did a documentary. I on think him. that's he where I heard be, about this. He might. He might be dead. I don't know. I think, is Al Green still alive? Al Green still alive. I seen Al Green. Don't get me lying. I don't know. Um, Al Green was alive. I seen Al Green at a concert. Let me ask y'all. What's the one thing? What's the one thing they should do? What should they get rid of from Thanksgiving? If y'all could, I feel bad because I feel like I got this from somewhere, but this just made me curious. What would y'all get rid of if you can get rid of anything from Thanksgiving from a black household? Uh, the niggas stuffing, yeah, I don't like man, stuffing. stuffing over turkey. But go ahead, never, man, niggas, niggas yeah, from the black bread. community gonna hate me. Bread. But collard greens, I can't eat them shits no more. So you get rid of greens. I, I'm yeah, a collard greens person no more. Oh, oh it's Teddy, so Pendergrass. Teddy Pendergrass died 13 years ago. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, sick, yeah, nigga. Talk, you want to get rid of? You want to get rid of turkey? Talking shit, yeah, get, man. Get, turkey, get turkey the fuck out of here. Get turkey all the way the fuck out of here. Yes. Oh, nigga, you Goodbye, man, turkey. turkey. Somebody I'm make you dry ass turkey. That's why you be eating turkey that tastes like you eating fucking wood. You eat bits nah, of dry ass turkey, I eat turkey all the time. I literally eat turkey you, other days of the year. Like I got turkey loin in there. I eat ground turkey. Turkey loin. I just don't be turkey loin. Turkey loin is what? another word for turkey breast. Yeah, no, the loin means something different. Ain't a loin like the back part of a is a loin the part of the chest? I don't know. I don't know but, it, it, but niggas, that's like but, niggas who say they eat turkey bacon. Like turkey don't make bacon. You just I definitely eat turkey bacon. Up too. Some, uh, nigga, you just frying fucking turkey lunch meat that's put in the strips. That's just oh, lunch bro. meat that you just fry fry some turkey, fry some regular Listen. lunch meat up. It tastes just like turkey bacon. That's not true at all. Hey. Turkey bacon got crisp uh, on it. Cured or uncured, crisp, nigga. It can no, get nigga, that fry. I'm going to get you. Go get you a piece of turkey from the deli section. Fry that shit up. It tastes just like turkey bacon. That's all turkey bacon it's not, is. It's, it's not true. Not Literally not true at all. But oh, I'm going to tell you God. this. Give me a thousand slices of turkey bacon for Thanksgiving with gravy on it rather than eating a fucking turkey. That's been baking all day. Just give me a thousand slices of turkey bacon. Put them shits in there. Cause you eat the, cause you over there eating that dry ass mm-hmm. turkey. Slicing that they shit like paper. <laughs> 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 Listen, Dre be getting turkey. Nigga be. Whoa. 
You know, what I'm saying? dying for water and shit. I, you you got to get the right person to cook you the right turkey. You can't be in dry. Ham turkey. is better. Ham is better. Ham is better, but the turkey. If you all right, then let's, let's keep going. Then do you just prove my oh, point? That's, that's all I need, bro. That's all I need. No, nah, I didn't prove. Ham is my fucking ham is good because it's sweet. But the fucking turkey, <laughs> good fucking turkey with some fucking oh man, with some good gravy. On it. Man, listen. Oh, the best turkey crazy, beside man. the best ham. Who winning? The best, the best turkey you ever had beside the best ham you ever had. Who what wins? I don't know. Y'all Dog, crazy, I, I, nigga. See, man, I don't know what you ate, and I and this is this is from <laughs> a nigga who ate a recall turkey and almost died. And still love turkey. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Almost got. I got food poisoning from a turkey. Almost died. Like That's nigga, crazy. I've seen Grim Reaper was at the fucking door. That nigga was like, yeah, nigga. If I'd have ate that second plate, I'd have been done. If it wasn't for that mic, the huh? He had a plate just a turkey. <laughs> yeah, just the plate. No, a plate. Turkey. <laughs> no. Well, it was crazy. I yeah. fucked my stomach and, and, and I shit like all day in my stomach. Yeah, my stomach finally got good. Like I like I can eat something. I threw my plate in the microwave. I'm like that. Stupid. Stupid ass. Smell shit. I smell shit. Just open that microwave up, man. Smell like somebody threw a diaper in there on 30 seconds, dog. Do you understand how mad I was throwing the whole plate? I had black eyed peas on my shit. I had some fucking I candy, the whole hands, microwave some ham, turkey. Man, listen, through the turn a good plate of fucking Thanksgiving food upside down and put it in the trash can, nigga, it broke my soul. Y'all ain't break your own. Broke. I know a lot of people they make they make their own too. Like even if they go to somebody's house, they kind of have their own Thanksgiving food at yeah, the my, house. Y'all ain't do that. No, nah, I'm serious. No, nah, I don't do that. Motherfuckers who do that is people who come to your house and make excessive plates before they leave. Like they ain't got food at their house. Like I, I hate that shit. Nah, I go back to my mother's house. My mother cooks oh, the Thanksgiving can. big. Yeah, I always after Thanksgiving, my mom know I'm coming after work every single day to stop at her house to eat a plate of food and go home. She knows that's the that's been a routine for my forever. But it's motherfuckers who do cook, it kills me. They have a whole feast at home, but come to where you eating Thanksgiving and pile a pile up. It's just that's like, yo, mountain shit. That's up. crazy because we we used to do that so that we didn't have to take plates home. And nigga, so when it was plate. time to the Irish take- goodbye, everybody we could just go. <laughs> All right, see y'all. Nah, y'all taking a plate? Yeah. Now nah, I'm good. And yeah, I got to had Thanksgiving food at home and gone to somebody else's house for Thanksgiving and ate, but we wouldn't have to take anything home because we had our own food. Yeah. How much Thanksgiving food are you going to eat, and how long do you eat it so, after Thanksgiving? So, so a lot of motherfuckers don't eat the food limit before they come to. So why you don't eat? I get yeah, tired of so like the third days of eating. Uh, the same shit. It's just like, all right. Well, I'm gonna get another good meal, yeah, but everything else now. Nah, five some days candy of mac ham. and cheese straight is just. I think you crazy. I eat ham for that long. That's it's your long Puerto Rican side coming out of you. You, I bet you can eat rice for ten days straight. No, I, I can't eat anything. Puerto Rican in your blood. I bet you can eat fried chicken and watermelon ten days straight. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking the racist racism. bastard. <laughs> the racism. Um nigga, he, yeah, he, he clapped the nose and fucking All right. All right. you know what? I'm not gonna hold you. I can eat those every day. I'm not gonna hold you. Sweet sweet plantains. Sweet plantains are a, 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 every time. I don't every really like time. plantains. No. Trey, do you have thing. any fucking you blow no. like other dishes. I, just I like bigger. you know what I like the plantains we get when we go to like the Rodizio or Fogo de Chao or the mm-hmm. Brazilian John when they fry them Sweet up. Plantains. Those shits are great, but I just don't. That's like what I was talking about. I don't like going to the That's Spanish cool. spot and getting the the plantains. No, there's not. Nah, I always get the uh, tre leche three milk cake. Yeah. That's right I, there. Hey, 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 Kev, I ever tell you about when this nigga kept telling me about the goddamn tre leche cake? Ooh, can yeah, and uh, I don't know what leche no. mean. I didn't know what, what leche, leche mean. mean. It means fucking milk. 
This nigga knows I'm lactose intolerant and just keep saying, yo, we got to get that tray leche cake. Yo, you got that shit good. That shit. We go to the Spanish spot before we go to the studio one time, right? And I'm like, yeah, okay. Man, let me just get this one fucking tray leche cake. That shit good, right? Yeah, that shit slapping. That shit, you know, whatever, however Kev say, he don't say slapping, but. Was it good? Yo, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. That shit was terrible. You know why? Because it's fucking cake dipped in milk. It's It's three types of milk. It's condensed milk. <laughs> Regular milk and some other kind of fucking milk. So all this, all this big old dookie ball. That he's, and I'm sitting there listening. I'm sitting there eating this shit. I'm like, hey, let's shit is wet. I said, this shit wet. I'm like, it's all right though. You know, whatever. I'm like, yo, and I'm eating it. I'm like, shit tastes like it was dipped in milk. Milk is disgusting to me. I'm like, yo. I think I might have googled that shit. Sit the fuck. Fuck you, let me, be, nigga. Milk. Nigga, you got me some eat called some called milk cake. Why the fuck would I want that? I'll start flipping the <sighs> out good, like shit good to um. me. <laughs> milk Dre cake. shit, Dre. It was great. Dre asshole was like the line the nigga trying to when they finally opened up the fucking foot locker for the Jordans. That shit just let loose. I know you it was bad. oh man, how was how hard. fast did it take you? You was you were driving hard to the crib, wasn't you? No, I was more fart. Was, was, that was that was fart because I didn't finish the cat. I threw scary. that shit away. Uh, yeah, uh, in the studio with them. It was good time. Just tearing it. Good time. just hurt. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. shit. Dog, it's yeah. not, yo, go dip a piece of angel food cake and milk, and you got Trey Lance shakes, <laughs> nigga. Just dip that shit in milk and put it on a plate. The cake Boom. is made with milk too, so it is made with milk. It's good. Three, oh, damn. Three milk. <laughs> three milk cake. Fuck good. out of here. Shit, I thought that great. was like a fancy word for caramel or some shit. Let these check. niggas just got a these niggas got a whole pound cake just soaked in milk and just give it to you. Yeah, you gonna like this. Shit is the, shit is great. Man, <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, what the fuck that, nigga speaking, that nigga speak Spanish while he's eating the cake. That's the only time nigga speaks Spanish as he's eating that cake. <laughs> he have English and Spanish to you talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Kevin described the cake as, as like a mechanic <laughs> trying to build a cake. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Lionel, it's, just, just shut your ball. That's the only time. That's, <laughs> that's the only time you speak Spanish when you yeah. eat that cake. <laughs> describe how it is. Remind me about the Man, time I had hard. to change the change the tire in my rotors on my brake <laughs> because there's so many components to this cake. There's so many components that you gotta take out when he's doing the tire rotors and the brakes. Like, listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I want to. I want to just hit that kick. Did he just start speaking Spanish? But I want to. Let's disagree with him. But yo, didn't you have your your daughter's boyfriend come so you could teach him how to change brakes? <laughs> you, you, no, I didn't. No, I said if she ever. I was going to have if she had to do. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you did. A grown ass man out there can't change a tire. That can't change. A tire. I taught you how to change brakes, Dre. So shut the fuck up. You definitely told you me how to change brakes. Ungrateful ass you nigga. Say this nigga a, mad loop. <laughs> so you ungrateful I'm ass nigga. <laughs> no, you mad definitely told money, me how to like. Listen, listen, a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Kev definitely taught me how to do a lot of, especially early on, a lot of stuff that like I didn't know. Like I didn't know. Like for my dad, how to do in all honesty, so he passed down that knowledge. And you know what I do? I tip my mechanic every fucking time. <laughs> I tip <him. laughs> so I don't have to do it. Here you go, buddy. You deserve this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, he definitely told me hey, I do man. a lot of shit. Yeah, I remember. Hey. I remember riding, riding. Um, and we can end this soon. I remember riding in my green car to the point where the fucking brake pad slipped it was so ran down and that shit literally slipped out of the fucking caliber as i was driving and pushing the brakes the shit just fell out of the caliber yo nigga i remember that nigga had no brakes nigga had to no anchor out the window to stop himself so <laughs> no, that's what was crazy that shit was great i think no i believe that's when you came over and told me how that literally that shit really was that bad. Yes. i don't know how we stopped Real shit. I don't know. <laughs> Might have Flintstone it. Real shit. Might have hit the Flintstone yeah. on it. Nigga, the power prayer stopped your car, nigga. Yeah. That shit was crazy. We didn't we didn't go no luckily we didn't go anywhere. 
We was like right outside my uh, wife's um, my wife's uh, cousin's house where we were leaving from. So and nigga shit, and then they had the nerve to have that same car. Yeah, ain't never changed. Ain't never changed the oil in this motherfucker for six months. The blue yeah, motor because it nigga. just burnt because it just burned up all the fucking oil in this car. This shit just had no oil in this car. This car pissing, just punching. They ain't get lubricated, nothing. Just, just trying. The car just seized up. With high as hoes. That nigga went to start his car. car. Whole motor seized up on this nigga. Took the dipstick, yeah, no. took the dipstick out that shit. I saw the engine. The shit was smoking. And this black car where the, the oil was, was melting. <laughs> the dipstick was melting. It was that bad. It was, that, it was honestly that bad. So, yes, this I don't went through some shit with car. One yeah, car, people, one car. Listen, listen, this nigga killed the Subaru. You know yeah. how hard it is to kill the Subaru. <laughs> the Subaru is the same car they ride through the Mohobe, Mojave Desert with and have races with. This nigga Rally killed cars. one of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that was a good car too. It was I a good car. Su- good car. I seen Subaru fl- flip sixteen times. Driver got that motherfucker straight. Kept driving. This nigga killed it. Hey, that bitch was fast. That bitch was. Fast. Then your grandfather gave you that car too. <laughs> I, I bought it. I just didn't pay full price. Like he was like a thousand, but I gave him like five hundred and told him I'll keep paying. Then he just was like, he just was like, whatever. <laughs> so you know, so you know, that, that was that was my first car. But ever since then, all of my cars have been taken care of. So uh, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah, that's all I got though. Yeah. Honestly, we was just wanted to talk shit. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, man. it. Was some random shit, man. I just I could never forget. The Subaru, how that shit was funny. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. Yeah. All right, man. Yo, let's wrap this shit up. We out of here, man. Enjoy y'all Sundays, man, with y'all families, and keep eating that. Uh, this is the last day you can eat Thanksgiving food, according to Dre. No, it's not. I said five days, nigga. You got shit. Honestly, you got till Saturday. I'm just being Saturday. honest. No, I gave it a couple extra days. I'm saying that you have until Saturday for ham. Ham. Oh. Turkey will be too dry. <laughs>